so Okay, so looking at 6.2, parallel and perpendicular lines, what does parallel mean? Two lines that are exactly the same distance away from each other at every single point. So a couple of things in real life that are parallel are train tracks. So you know how train tracks, they are, um, hang on a second, let me draw. Train tracks, I don't know the terminology, but you know how you have these parts, these lines, this here and this, these lines are always the same distance apart from each other all the time, right? If that were to differ at all, the train would have trouble driving on the track. Okay, two lines that are perpendicular from each other, what does that mean? That they meet at a... 90 degree angle, okay, all right, so things like, hmm, well, you'd think that the corner at, in the wall, in the, in the, the corner of, of a room, the walls are generally meet at a 90 degree angle, but sometimes in real life and construction it doesn't always happen. But for instance, that's something that would be 90 degree angle-ish. Um, the corner of this paper, okay? That's a 90 degree angle, for instance. So what we need to figure out today is which lines are parallel from each other and which ones are perpendicular. And we're going to look at the slopes of the lines to compare them and see what it works out as. All right. So let's first graph these lines. So let's graph EF, CD, and AB. So line EF starts at negative 3, 2. So I'm going to go back 3 and down 2. That's B. And, oh, sorry, that's E. Okay, uh, and then F is negative 1 and up 6. So that is F. Okay, let's plot C, D. So C is negative 1, so it's back 1. And then down 3. All right, so that's C. And then D is 1 and then up 7. So what do you notice about these two lines? Do they look like they're the same distance apart from each other? Okay, and let's plot A, B. So A is negative 3. And then up 7. That's A. And then B is negative 5 and 2. So back 5. And then down two. All right, so let's. All right. Okay. So are they parallel? Justify your answer. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to compare the slopes of all three lines. So what's the slope of EF? And we could just count up and over. So how many up do I go and over? So I went up how many units? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then over one, two. So up eight and right four. And I could reduce that so that it is slope of 4. Okay, and then let's look at the slope of CD next. So I go up 1 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then over two. So ten over two, so that gave me a slope of five. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Which one am I counting? A, B. I need to do A, B next. I'm doing that one over again. So slope of A, B. So I go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then over how many? One, two. Okay, so then my slope of AB is 9 over 2. Okay, so just by looking at the graph here and not counting the slope out, they look like they could be parallel, right? But when you actually count out the slopes, what do you notice? That they actually aren't. Since the slopes of all three lines are not equal, they are not parallel to each other. So not even two of them have the exact same slope, right? So if two of them had the same slope, then those two would be parallel. But they're all different, and they're also ever slightly different, but still not good enough. All right, so now let's look at these two lines. So line ST and UV, and let's see if they are parallel or perpendicular or neither. Okay. So let's look at the slope of, of line ST. <coughs> so I'm going to use Y2 over Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. And let's call this my first point and let's call this my second point for S and T. So I'll have minus 5 minus 7 over 2 minus negative 2. So what's my slope of st? Negative 12 over 4, which is negative 3. And then let's find the slope of uv. Okay, and let's do the same thing. So we'll call this my first point and that my second point y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And now if I look at this, I get 6 minus 3, 7 minus negative 2. And that gives me a slope of 3 over 9, or a slope of 1 third. Okay. So the slope of ST is negative 3, and the slope of UV is 1 third. Okay, so we know they're definitely not parallel, right? But then perpendicular, well, in order for two lines to be perpendicular to each other, they have to be negative reciprocals of each other. which these two are. You notice how this is negative 3 over 1, and then this is 1 over 3. You could also use the fact that if you multiply 
if you multiply the two slopes together, you end up getting negative 1. And so if I take the slope of negative 3 and multiply that with 1 over 3, I end up getting, this reduces to 1 and 1, I end up getting negative 1 over 1, which is negative 1, as my answer here when I multiply the two slopes. Okay, so there's a couple of different ways that you could look at it. You could look at it as them being negative reciprocals of each other, or when you multiply the two slopes together, they get a value of negative 1. All right? So you want to quickly just graph that and see what it looks like. So st, let's graph that first. <coughs> negative 2 and then up 7. So that's s. And then t is positive 2 and negative 5. So that's t. And then u is negative 2 and 3. That's right there. And then v is 7 and 6. So you can't always trust by just looking at the graph. You have to make sure you're counting out the slopes as well, okay? So make sure you kind of have this. This is how you know. So these... So S, T, and U, V are perpendicular. Okay. All right. Now, number three. It says, determine the slope of a line that is perpendicular through this, these two points. So first what we need to do is we need to figure out the slope of GH. So the slope of GH is negative 2 minus 3 over 1 minus negative 2. And so we have negative 5 over 3. So that's the slope of GH. Now, if I have another line and I want it to be perpendicular, then I have to have, what, what is the slope that I want? It has to be the negative reciprocal. The negative reciprocal slope of negative 5 over 3 is, so then I take it and I make it the opposite sign. So since this is negative, I want my answer, my perpendicular slope to be positive. And then what do I do to this fraction? I flip it over, which is the reciprocal. Okay? So these two slopes are perpendicular to each other, which means that they cross at 90 degree angles from each other. Okay? So this is the perpendicular slope to this. 3 over 5 is perpendicular. I should write the slope. 3 over 5 is perpendicular to negative 5 over 3.
any questions? Is that okay? Yeah? Okay. All right. So now what does it say? It says, part B says, determine the coordinates of J so that line GJ is perpendicular to line GH. Okay. So the easiest way to do this is to just plot it and then count it out. Okay, so where is GH? So let's go negative 2 and then up 3. So that's G. And then H is 1 and negative 2. So that's H right there. So now let's start at... So let's start at... Start at point G and count out the slope 3 over 5 from there. Okay? So I'm going to start right here and then I'm going to go up 3 and over 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I'm going to end up right there. So what is the value of this point right here? We're going to call this J. What is the value of this point? It's 3 comma, and then so 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, and then over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So where did I end up? You know what? I plotted G in the wrong spot. You see how I have it right here? Okay, that's what I'm like. Ah, it's not working out. G should have been where? Down 1. This is where it should have been. I counted up 4 by mistake. So then, that shouldn't be there. Um, this is why you don't do math and pen, folks. Okay, so I need to be right here then. So what is the value of this point? So that shouldn't be there. That's what I want. So that should be at 6. Okay. So J should be at three comma six. And now our last question is asking about a parallelogram. So do you know what a parallelogram is? Is it a rectangle? Question mark, and justify your answer. Okay, so here, here's a hint. A parallelogram has opposite sides that are equal. So this side and this side here. So in order to check whether this is a rectangle, what do we need to determine? If these corners are 90 degrees, and how do we figure out if they're 90 degree, if those two lines are meeting 90 degrees from each other? If the slopes are perpendicular, yeah. So that's a big question. Are the lines that intersect perpendicular? Okay. So let's figure out the slope of each of the lines. So EH and, um, okay, so what's the slope of EH? So down 1 and right 3. So 
negative 1 and 3. Uh, what is the slope? Uh, so we just figured out this one. Now, what, sh what should be the slope of this? It should be the same, right, if they're parallel? Okay, so what's the slope of FG? Down 1 and over 3. Okay, so that's good so far. These two are parallel. So EH and FG are parallel. All right, now let's figure out the slope of the other guys. Slope of EF. What's the slope of EF? One, two, three, four, five. Five up and over two. And then what's the slope of H G? One, two, three, four, five, and then five over two. Okay, so what can you tell me about E F? and HG. They are also parallel. Okay, now we need to figure out whether the two lines that meet are perpendicular from each other. So is EF and FG perpendicular? And is EH and, let's see, if this corner is perpendicular, and is this corner perpendicular? EH and HG perpendicular. Perpendicular. So these two are not? No, because these are not uh, Recipro negative reciprocals of each other, right? They're totally different numbers. And the same goes for this too. So is this a parallelogram? Yes or no? Well, it's parallel to each other. It's a parallelogram, yeah, it's a parallelogram. But is it a rectangle? Sorry, rectangle? A rectangle? Is it, that's a new shape, folks. Is it a rectangle? That's the big question. Is it a rectangle? I don't have a 90 degree here. I don't have a 90 degrees here. Is it a rectangle? Nope. Not. A rectangle. Okay? All right. Maybe a rectangle. We don't know what that is. Well, it's a new discovery. We'll find out later. Okay. So these are the questions for section 6.2 homework. Okay? All right. Enjoy. Have fun. <laughs>